Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the universe. This is Swifty, the ineffectual gamer. And uh, I'm making this video today, I was going to do it in front of the computer, but I just thought, well, why not? I'm having my coffee here yeah, in my owl cup, love it, and some orange juice. And I just, uh, I just didn't really want to sit in front of the computer this morning because that, that room's really hot um, at the moment so this room's really cool so it's nice to sit in here um, so I wanted to address some things uh, with my channel you'll notice that I had I kind of been away for a while and hadn't been live streaming I have been playing I just haven't been live streaming um, it's one because of my work schedule you know my work schedules up and down and quite often when I'm not working it's very strange on days off when I have got days off I don't really want to stream because you have to set it up and you have to go through this process before you do it as stupid as some of my streams are and as much as I crash things and stuff like that it, it does take work to set it up and it, it it's it's uh, it, it's not something you just do in two minutes um, so I've really not really thought that I wanted to, to do that, to set it up and whatnot. And it's also to do with the content I've been streaming. Um, some content I've been streaming I've been actually enjoying. Other content I've been thinking about streaming, I'm like, or even uploading videos. I'm, I've been talking a long time about making videos instead of live streaming and maybe doing a live stream once a week. And that might get, make it a bit easy for me. Just clicking that you know record button is much easier than setting up a stream. So that may be something I'll look into in the future. But the, the main thing I want to address is, firstly, is the games that I normally stream. So when I started streaming, Ineffectual Gamer, the idea of the tag Ineffectual Gamer was somebody who would stream different games uh, and have a different reaction um, to different things. But I kind of got into the elite whole Elite Dangerous thing and started live streaming that uh, at the beginning very very late at night into the early hours so quite a lot of Americans and Canadian people came over and started watching and then I kind of pulled it back a little bit and got some English uh, viewers and obviously riding the re kind of riding the crest of some of those uh, those money fi uh, money mining I don't even know how it's just woken up but you know some of those ways of making money uh, helping people find certain things to rank up you know I, I kind of got my foot in the door of the elite community but only only for a certain period and I noticed that kind of subscription started to slow down because I wasn't making enough content or the content I was making wasn't fitting uh, what I'd been getting subscribers before now I didn't do this whole thing to get subscribers and clicks and all this stuff it would be nice but it's not why I started doing this I genuinely feel like I want to live stream um, making short videos requires a little bit of editing sometimes so uh, I love editing or I did when I was at university but it's not particularly something I want to be doing now because it's lengthy um, so so to get to the main point, uh, people are probably thinking, why why is he not streaming Elite things like this? Look, I I love Elite as a game, and I've put a tremendous amount of hours into Elite. Uh, we're talking thousands of hours over the last few years, um, not hundreds. And this is where the crux of it comes into play. Seeing the new uh, trailer for Odyssey, a lot of people were blown away. I wasn't. I'm not blown away by it at all. Uh, I do think there's going to be a code upgrade. I don't know exactly what's in that code upgrade because they're not talking about it yet. When are they going to start talking about it? And we're talking about Frontier here, sorry, by the way. When are they going to start talking about it? I don't know. I don't work for them. But I cannot grind that game for another day. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I'm done grinding it. You know, I, We need content as players of Elite Dangerous. They need to produce it. And putting things aside and, you know, uh, the community goals and things like that, which were working really, really well and had people doing something and they're just like, no, nope, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to put ourselves into Odyssey. 
And what I'm worried about with Odyssey is are they just trying to keep up with Star Citizen? Is it a jealousy thing where they're looking over at the money Star Citizen are making and saying, well, we want some of that, so we're going to go down that route? Is Odyssey just going to be a first-person shooter on the planet side? Obviously, there is going to be code upgrade and there is going to be planet tech upgrade, but is it going to be enough? And I don't think it is. Now, you all know I've kind of protected Frontier for a long time. But what I'm hearing about and what I'm seeing with uh, Odyssey is just not getting me excited. It just isn't. And I really feel that um, I really feel that they're, they're not interested in what the, tr- what the players want, the current players. They're interested in grabbing some of that Star Citizen um player base and money it, that's what it seems like to me and so until frontier actually start releasing statements and change my mind i'm not grinding that game anymore now that's not to say i won't play it that's not to say there isn't a point when i'm going to go and uh and think well i wouldn't mind doing a bit of exploration or i wouldn't mind doing a bit of con- combat that's not to say i'm not going to do that because i do genuinely love the game but what i'm not going to do is give them my time so I'm not gonna grind. I'm not gonna grind stuff anymore uh, until there's a code upgrade and they make it simpler, and they actually make some stuff available that you can't even grind at the moment. So until they do that, I'm not giving them any time. This live, uh, what do they call it? Uh, oh, cripes! My head's empty today. Um, this. Pe- like pay ser- live serve gaming service that people have, so that you have it with Elite, you have it with oh, it's nearly with every game now, where it's th- they don't release content very often because they want you to grind. I'm not doing this. I'm too old for this. I haven't got the time for this. I want to enjoy my gaming moments, and I want my viewers to enjoy those gaming moments with me. I don't want people watching me do a mindless grind. If one of you, or any of my viewers, buy the Division Two. Hit me up. I'll play it with you. I'll play through level 1 to 30. And I'll create a new player just to do it with you. Because that content is actually quite interesting. But once you hit after level 30. And you start grinding these events. It loses it for me. It loses any mystique. It loses any interest. It loses entertainment. I'm just not going to do this grinding thing anymore. I don't mind doing a little bit of work. So, for example, Red Dead Redemption, not online, the single-player game. You kind of have to grind that a little bit. But it feels fulfilling when you're doing it. So I play that every now and again. I just got Microsoft Flight Simulator. Some of you will see me streaming that recently. I can travel all over the world and I can visit all these places. And I know that Asobo Studios are working on the game. I know that there's content creators. Uh, I don't mean content as in YouTube. I mean content for the game creators making free content for this because it is editable they can mod it so this game will get better things will be it things will improve and i'll be able to make good content based around that and fun content based around that it's not something that i have to grind so all these games that i really love i'm really losing my patience with because we're not on this earth forever and this is our time we're not paid to do this we do it because we love the game. But grinding recently, it, I'm seeing it in all games, and it is not what I want to be involved with. I want I want content from uh, a game that I buy. Uh, another game I bought recently I was incredibly disappointed with, but it's not even a grind. It was The Last of Us 2. Um, wow, I haven't even completed it yet. I turn it on, I play 20 minutes, and I turn it off. There's just nothing in that game for me. And that's really sad because the first one I absolutely loved. I don't want this to be a... I'm not complaining in this video. Like, um, I'm not here to, to be too... Morny. <laughs> I can't find any words, my God. I'm not trying to be mourning. But I want, I'm not trying to moan about everything here. I'm just saying that I want the channel to be a little bit more exciting. And I want it to be a little bit more fun. In the sense of that I just feel that more recently there's too much grind and I haven't got time for that. Um, I'm also going to split the channel. So I've, I've actually been doing that before. So we're going to have uh, the Happy Marmot which is going to be my walking stuff. 
And then I'm looking at some cooking stuff as well because I've been speaking to Alex Gar recently. And we've been t- talking about you know other YouTubers in different areas away from gaming. And I was like, you know what? I don't just need to do the ineffectual one. I can do other stuff because maybe that's going to light a fire in 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 how I look at this and how I take it forward. So all I want to say is, um, in rounding it all up, is that it's not that I'm going to never play these games, but I'm certainly not going to be playing them constantly until I see improvements in some of them. Um, there's going to be more um, diverse content and diverse games on, on the channel. Um, and I hope I hope you all stay with me. I mean, the people... You know, you know who you are, the people who come in the streams all the time and join in regardless of what I'm playing. I salute you people, I really do. It's so good to have you on board and I enjoy every minute that I spend with you guys. And I really look at you as friends in that sense. I, I love seeing you come into the stream and it's great to spend time with you. You're all good, you're all good people. It's always fun. You can continue taking the piss out of me, I don't mind. Uh, I know I act bum hurt sometimes, but I'm not. So just keep in touch, uh, keep subscribed, and I will see you probably later today <laughs> with another stream. Okay, catch you later, people. Bye bye.